Okay, in this video we're going to look at estimating the size of angles. So before estimating the size of angles, you make sure you sort of remember stuff like your acute angles, obtuse angles, reflex angles. Okay, so remember a right angle is 90 degrees, a straight line is 180, three quarters of a turn would be 270 degrees, and a full turn is 360 degrees. Then if you know what these are, then you can sort of like have a sensible estimate of sort of angles that might be less than 90, less than a straight line or slightly over a straight line and so on. So let's have a look at this angle and estimate the size of it. Now, if I looked at this angle here, the first thing I'd be considering is, well, a right angle would be straight up. Okay, so if you went straight up, that's going to be 90 degrees. And this looks about roughly half of that. So I'd have an estimate. So my estimate would be that this might be something like 45 degrees. Okay, so let's get our protractor and just check what it is. So if you get your protractor, put the point on the uh, point there, go through. It looks somewhere in the region, obviously the lines are quite thick here. It looks somewhere in the region of 40, 41, 42. Um, the lines are quite, quite, quite thick. Okay, so the estimate there was pretty accurate. Let's have a look at our angle. So, if you're trying to estimate the size of an angle that looks something like that, again, I would be considering that it's just slightly bigger than a right angle. So you've got a right angle here, which is 90 degrees, which is straight up. So straight up would be 90. Well, that looks just a bit more. So I'm thinking something like 100, 100 degrees. Remember, a straight line would be 180. Straight up uh, 90 degrees. So because that's just a bit more, I would say an estimate there. My estimate is equal to 100 degrees. Let's have a measure and see what size it actually is. Actually, it looks pretty good. So... It looks just under 100 degrees, so that's a pretty good estimate. So let's have a look at another one. Okay, this time you've got a reflex angle. As you can see, it's much bigger than a straight line. The angle goes all the way around, and you've just got left this part that's not the angle. So as a full circle is 360 degrees, or a full turns 360 degrees, this is just a bit less. So my estimate for this would be, well, somewhere in the region of... Of my estimate would be somewhere in the region of 350 degrees. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to measure the small angle. So if you measure the small angle, it's 10 degrees. Oh, well, then that means then the actual angle would be 350 because the full circle is 360. And if that's parts 10, well, then that would be 350. Okay. 